I didn't realize that you were already here. Ah, I love to skip and practice my memory verse. I'm sure you know it all by now. But anyway, let's pray and start Sunday school. Father, we thank you so much for another wonderful opportunity to hear your word. You are good, and your faithfulness endures forever. We pray that you help us to sit quietly, to listen, and to obey your word. And help us to also share with friends. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm sure by now you know your memory verse by heart, right? So today, we are going to do a little activity. What is going to happen is on your screen, the memory verse will be there, but some words will be taken out each time. So we will say it along. Let's see how much you can remember when you're not seeing the words. OK, what's our memory verse? Yes, some 119 verse 89 and 90. Psalm 119 verse 89 and 90. Okay, let's say it. 
forever, O oh Lord. Your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. Did you get it? Okay, let's do the second one. More words will be taken out. I just want to see how much you've learned. Again, Psalm 119, verse 89 and 90. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth, and it stands fast. Great! Now, even more words are going to be taken off, and we will see if indeed you have learnt your memory verse. Okay, for the last time now. Psalm 119, verses 89 and 90. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. Great, children. Ah, I am so proud. We are indeed keeping the word of God in our mind and in our hearts. Now let's go on and listen to our lesson. See you.
Welcome to another exciting time at Sunday School. Shall we pray? Our dear Lord, we thank you so much for this time. We pray that as we are going to learn about you, we pray that you speak to us. Help us understand your word. Help us understand everything that we are going to be taught through this lesson. This is what we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you remember what we've been learning this month of October. This is our second week. And I know we remember what we learned last week. We learned that God is the creator, that God made everything we see, the sun, the stars, the moon, and everything. And when we see all these things, it didn't just come into being. It means that God is the one who created them. We also learned that God has no beginning and no end. Isn't that amazing? Let's pause on this amazing note and go and listen to our music. I want you to shake yourselves and dance so that we come back for today's lesson. today because we are going to learn more about God and I want to show you a few things. Can you see what I'm holding in my hand? Yes, it's an apple. Do you know that an apple has three parts? I bet you didn't know. Let me show you. So the apple has the skin the apple has the flesh, and the apple, apple has this middle part, which is called the core. So that's where you can see the seed. But even though it has three parts, it is one apple. Let me show you something else. Can you see what I'm holding? Yes, it's an egg. Do you know that the egg has three parts? Yes, it does. Let me show you. The, the egg has the shell, which we can see here. The egg has the white parts to it. And then, yes, the egg has the yolk, which is the yellow parts that we see. So even though we have three parts, it's one egg. Let me show you another picture. I know you know what this is. It's a triangle. And the triangle, yes, you're right, it has three parts. Let's count the parts. One, two, three. But it's one triangle. Let me show you another picture. 
It's a tricycle. I know you all know a tricycle. And the tricycle has three wheels. Let's count the wheels. One, two, three. And it's a tricycle, one tricycle with three wheels. Well done. Now, when we see the, the letters T-R-I in front of the word like triangle and tricycle, it means that whatever we are referring to has three parts. So that's the T-R-I. When you see it, it means that we are going to talk about the word three. And so in today's lesson, we are going to talk about this word and it's Trinity. Yes, indeed. It has three, um, T-R-I, so it means that we, it has three parts to it. And the three parts of the Trinity is referred to the three persons of the Trinity. And it is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father is God who is in heaven. And God the Son is God who came down onto earth to be a baby, to come and die for our sins, and has gone back to heaven. And God the Spirit is God who lives in our hearts. So we have three persons of the Trinity, and it is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And even though they are three persons, they are one God. So God the Father is God, God the Son is God, and God the Spirit is God. Children, Genesis 1 tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It also tells us that the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So it is telling us that when God created the stars and the sky and the moon and the rivers and everything, God the Father was there. And it's also mentioning somebody else who was there. Yes, it's mentioning that God the Spirit was also there in the beginning. And so, now let's also listen to what John 1.1 1, 1 tells us. John 1.1 1, 1 says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, John also tells us that the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So when the Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God, it means that when God created everything, Jesus who became flesh and came to be born as a human being was also there in the beginning because it's only Jesus who became flesh and came to be part of us. He came to be born as a baby and he came to die for our sins. So children, we are learning something here. We are learning that in the beginning, God the Father was there. In the beginning, God the Son was there. And in the beginning, God the Spirit was there. And we said that even though there are three persons, we are talking about one God. And so today, what we learned is the Trinity it's in three parts, and those parts are called the persons of the Trinity. And those are God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And they are not three gods, they are just one God. Well done, kids. Now I want to ask you just two questions. I know you can answer them. Okay, let's go. How many persons are in the Trinity? Yes, there are three persons in the Trinity. And what are those persons in the Trinity? Yes, it's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Well done. You've done so well. Now let's pray and go and listen to another music and dance to it. Shall we pray? Our Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for teaching us about you, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. 
Father, we pray that you help us understand this even more. Continue to speak to us and continue to be with us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want you to dance to your song. See you later. Bye-bye. Wow, I hope you've enjoyed ourselves so far. And we've learned about God, who is three in one. So God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Three in one. Great. This reminds me of the Glover, a plant with three leaves. So our craft is going to represent something like that. So this is how we have it. That's how the global look like. Three leaves. So let's start. What do we need? We need a manila card. Green, more precise. But you can get any other. Then we are going to start with drawing a shape of a, a heart. Mm. If you are good like me. <laughs> I say good like me, eh? Okay, let's start. So we go like this. Are we good? Are you good like me or you are a little bad like me? Which one? <laughs> good. Then we have our shape. 
the heart shape. So I have it here, which I cut already. So please kindly let mommy or daddy help you, or your big brother or your big sis help you to cut it. So I have one. Then we have, we'll draw the stem. Good. So let's cut. So I started my cutting to make it fast. So this is the first one. We need three parts, so we are going to cut the second one. I have the second one. Let's go to the third. Please kindly let mommy or daddy help you. God is three in one, three in one. Mm. God is so wonderful. He has so many attributes that we have been learning throughout. If it's a little confusing, just don't get confused. Just trust God, because you know that God doesn't lie. So when he says he's three in one, you should know it's true. So we have to trust him. And this is our stem that we also cut. Then we'll need pin. You can ask mom to help you. But first, before we put them together, let's write. What are the three persons? We have God the... Hmm? Yes, good. God the Father. God. The Father. Great. You see it? God the Father. Mm -hmm. Who else? He came in the form of a human being to earth. God the Son, that's Jesus, yes. God. The Son. Wow, God is so powerful. Great. Then the third one, yes, God, the Holy Spirit, the one living in us, telling us, speaking to us, and helping us to understand the word of God, which is the light to our path. Great. God. The. Holy Spirit. So we have the three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So we have it like this. Then we'll try to pierce it. Kindly let mommy or daddy help us, please. Good. Are we there? 
great. Then you're left with the last one. Good. So you see? So you can move it the way you want. Then we have the stair. The bigger part is down. Good. Now let's open it to lock it. Are you there? Great. <laughs> So this is it. We have God the Father, God the Son, and then God the Holy Spirit. So just like the way we've done it, so that's how the whole thing look like. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three in one. What did I say? Three in one. Not me, but it's God's way, who is always true, who we need to believe in and have faith. Thank you. I hope you enjoy yourself. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your love towards us. We thank you for your word this morning, telling us how wonderful you are, and most importantly, Letting us know you more. Knowing that you are the God, the creator. You created the whole world. You created me and everyone. I, we thank you for your knowledge that you've given us. That you are three persons in one. We believe you. And we know that you are the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. May you continue to be with us. May you help us to understand you more. And may you give us your spirit of discernment. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Great. Bye. See you next time.